Hey guys, today I want to talk about Barnes and Nobles. So I went to my Barnes and Nobles recently and I saw the Magic Idol. So Barnes and Nobles has a center for Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and Magic cards. I, I have one in the mall and I have one that's actually a store that I like to go to. Uh, so I went to Barnes and Nobles and lo and behold, <laughs> you know the Commander Precondex? Um, they have like the different commanders in it, right? So then you know which one you're looking for in the little window. But someone like took out the commanders and then put in like really like a planes with one of the cards. And yeah, I should have took a picture of it, but apparently it's a very common, common type of scammy attribute where people are taking stuff from Barnes and Nobles. Cause I mean, if people in Walmart don't know about magic cards, people in Barnes and Nobles for sure don't know about magic cards. And they're taking these pre-condex out, uh, 2015 Commander pre-condex, and that just recently came out and they're opening them and then returning them or they are resealing them. I don't know what is happening. I assume they go back to their car and then they open them and then they say something like, oh, a card is missing and then the person at the Barnes & Noble which probably just reseals it. I don't know, but um, honestly, it's pretty crazy because I've seen this in Target as, and Walmart as well where you have a pre-con and you know what card to expect and it's not the one in the front. It's like a planes in front, right? And you're like, okay, that's probably not. Uh, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to find a picture of what I'm talking about online. But yeah, that's, uh, that's absolutely crazy that people would do that because I kind of like, I kind of understand the logic of someone slicing a pack opening open and taking out the good card and putting a bad card in. Cause then they're like, okay, well, well, the liability is being transferred to the person who's making the purchase of the pack. But when you are looking for a, a certain card in front, uh, this happens for the dual decks as well and it's not there, then who's gonna buy? I think that, feel, that feels really bad to Walmart. Like, Wal or that feels really bad to Barnes & Nobles. Um, Barnes & Nobles has so much Funko figures right now, they have so much action figures, and they're I like 90 to 80 to 90% off. So if I were Barnes & Nobles, I would be like, okay, so people are stealing my product, they are not buying my product, and should I carry more of this product? And I, that's a big problem when you talk about making magic more mainstream, if you will. And I think that's important to make magic mainstream. I've been, you know, I've been waiting for this magic movie to come out. And I don't know, it was announced like a while ago. I think it was announced like two years ago when I first made this channel. And I haven't heard any news about it at all. If they can get a gem and a hologram. So like obviously my girlfriend's a big fan of that. If they can get a movie about that and actually execute it. Yeah, the movie sucked. And there was... It made like no money at all. It made $500 in two weeks or something, like per movie or per screening. Then they can for sure make a magic movie, right? Um, the question is, why don't they? I mean, this, I think the Funko figures, the action figures were a step to the magic movie. And that kind of utterly failed because you can buy the magic figure that's $24.99 at your local Target. Uh, you can still find them for 90% off. At Barnes and Noble, it's eighty percent, and uh, the Funko figures are also very cheap. They're like used to be like eight, nine dollars, and there's like sixty percent off. Like when I purchased these little dudes, they were twenty five percent off. But then like I came back and they were sixty percent off. I was like, oh damn, should I buy another set? I was like, no, I'll just wait until it goes ninety percent off. But anyway, probably um, that's a problem. I think Barnes and Nobles has a big problem on their hands. I, I've noticed most of this happens at Barnes and Nobles. I'm not sure why, but at the two Barnes and Nobles I go to, the card in the front of the dual deck is not the one that you're supposed to be receiving. And definitely not a, a better one. It's not like they replace it with a better card. Bye guys.